Turning Point Action held a rally for election integrity in Phoenix this weekend. It was a barn burner of an event. Donald Trump obviously gave a flames on speech, but some of the speeches before Donald Trump were incredible. And you have to hear the line from Charlie Kirk that brought the house down, leading to the entire arena to chant, lock him up. Who are they talking about? Watch the clip. Before the 2020 election, the ruling class was getting more nervous than they ever have before. They were worried that this president, who shocked the world in 2016, was on pace to do it again in 2020. They were worried that people were rising up in record numbers. They were worried that for the first time in a generation, a Republican was going to win double digits of the black vote, was going to win a record number of the Hispanic vote. And they were wondering and worrying what could they possibly do to try to get him out of power? Now, it's not my words, it's Nancy Pelosi's words, where she said, by the way, we have to retire Nancy Pelosi, am I right, Andy Biggs? We have got to get rid of Nancy Pelosi. But Nancy Pelosi and Democrats, they said they need to use the Chinese coronavirus and it did come from China, and it came from a laboratory, and Dr. Fauci should be in prison for what he did over the last year. What is done in darkness will always come to light. And I'm telling you right now, what Fauci did in the Wuhan Institute of Virology will be brought to light. And you could say maybe it was intentional, whatever. It came to this country and the entire world. And then the Democrats, the power-hungry Democrats, saw this terrible pandemic as an opportunity to try to change our voting systems for good. And this is where I get a little bit fired up with the weak Republicans that we have around us. This is where I start to lose my patience a little bit with the Republicans that say one thing and do another. It was so obvious that the Democrats were going to try to use this for a mail-in ballot scam. It was so obvious as this was happening, but we were assured by certain people in this state, our mail-in balloting is perfect. How dare you question our apparatus? When we saw in front of us people getting ballots they did not request, when we saw $400 million coming in from the tech oligarchs to the Center for Technology and Civic Life, changing the way we do elections for good. Now, in March, April, June, and July of last year, as the country was shut down, we saw this slow-motion transformation of our election systems for good. And what upsets me the most is this happened in Republican states, in this state and in Georgia. And let's say that this needs to be said once and for all. If you were silent or complicit in what happened in the 2020 election, resign and go rerun as a Democrat. Get the heck out of the Republican Party. <laughs> 